Who doesn't like laughing at communists, especially white suburbanite middle class American communists? I do. I think maybe all of you do as well. So let me pull this up, and I've got a great story about an American Communist Party for you, and how things might have potentially went a little wrong for them. And then after we have a chuckle at the silly Frappuccino drinking, iPad having, Prius driving communists from fucking California, then we'll get into the really fucked up shit. So think of this as the nice opening to the darkness that's to come. Let me see, make sure I get everything lined up properly for chat. I think you're going to like this, chat. Let me just let me just start by reading off that tweet before we even get into what it's about. First-hand accounts of an ex-party member of PCUSA, which is a American Communist Party, where party meetings devolved into orgies, party funds were spent on prostitutes, and lesbian female members were peer pressured into sleeping with transgenders. That sounds like the communists I know. I don't know about you, chat, but do you want to hear about drug-fueled tranny orgies at the U.S. Communist Party? I think we all do. And there are quite a few screen caps of it. So let's see what those commies have been up to. Let's see, uh, let's see how they're fighting the, uh, fighting, what is it, the bourgeoisie? How are the proletariat rising up? Make sure everything's up. Okay. Uh, it's a very Russian name, Jessica Coco. Uh, now, I can't uh, vouch for Jessica. Uh, they might be handicapped, and you might come to that conclusion, too, as I read what the, they've written. Uh, maybe they were huffing gas when they wrote this. I don't know. I will try to make it as uh, sensible as I can, but bear with me. Here we go. This is a first-hand account of what happened with the American Communist Party and their tranny orgies. It's going to keep silent over what took place in the party. However, as the party is now destroyed and only represents a few transgender agents and its supporters, it's irrelevant. This statement online is a complete lie and distortion of the truth. Five people have resigned or left. More will be resigning soon. A trans faction developed early, calling publicly online for the LGBTQ plus FB page, and chat line calling for the destruction of the Women's Commission. In order to facilitate, or I think they mean facilitate, in order to facilitate this, the agents declared, we must kill the snake by cutting its head off. We must isolate and target ousting Jessica. The Facebook page and blog site were taken down. However, none of the instigators were reprimanded, censored, or expelled. A, our only African-American female comrade, and I were treated in the most reprehensible way possible by the general secretary for trying to bring up the factioning. The fact we had known sexual offenders... I'm sorry, the fact we had a known sexual offender and the possibility of agents. A. Resigned. Since I would not, Alex, a trans member of the PB, sent out emails asking party members to shun, marginalize, ignore, and silence me, which was coupled with a reign of terror and violence. And violence! Such as cyberbullying, slandering me to other parties, and even death threats to my house over the phone. I was not, I would like to add, the only person who received death threats over the phone. You see, the trans agents were deliberately eliminating strategic people, not just myself, but those who did the bulk of the anti-imperialist work. The attacks scapegoating me were exactly that, a way to divert attention from what they were secretly doing. Funds were also at the same time stolen, so that to this day have not been returned. The unruly member which is mentioned in the statement is me, and I was never ever reprimanded or censored. I was immediately expelled, in a mockery of a trial that resembled the Inquisition. The only difference was, it was the accusers who sat on the judge. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, Jessica, our little comrade, was being targeted by trans agents within the Communist United States Party. After they had stolen funds for their wild... Well, we'll get to that. I don't want to jump ahead too far in the story. But uh, I can't believe this, Jessica. Are you telling me that you had a farce of a trial under communist rule? Who, who's ever heard of that happening? Surely communist countries were known for their fair and just legal system. I don't, can I pull chat? Chat, what do you think? Do you think 
You think Jessica's going to have a difficult time of this? All those, all those death threats, the Inquisition, and cyberbullying. Oh, how will she ever survive? Okay, it said on the judiciary, we're not able to burn me for witchcraft as they expressed I should. Crooks, slanderers, and sexual predators were protected. Only I was expelled for trying to practice my right to criticism and self-criticism under democratic centralism. Remember that others resigned, so it was unnecessary to expel them. The bourgeois media, Angelo, refers to Jason Uhura, Uhura? I don't know, I don't know. Unruha piece of the PC USA and its death over Ed Bull. Unruha YouTube channel, I hardly would classify as bourgeois media. As to allegations, money was stolen to pay for drugs. Alcohol induced orgies in California. I cannot answer this question. I don't know the source of this accusation. I do not know how the funds were spent. I can, maybe re I can maybe summarize how the funds were misused, but summarize doesn't equal knowing. I can say that Florida branch meetings did descend into drug and alcohol-induced orgies. Lesbians were also, in fact, forced to have sex with trans members. According to the members, all youth engage in orgies and drug and alcohol use and pressuring women for sex. When I confronted the general secretary that this defense was ridiculous and most Americans, including youth, would find this behavior abhorrent. I was poo-pooed. When I brought it up, I could not introduce potential members in Florida to these degenerates because potential members like Jay would be disgusted and even because uh, and even report us to foreign CPs like the KPRF, which I, I don't know what that stands for. I was told just not to introduce and to deny the potential members of Florida Club existed because we had to keep these three members, of which one was a sex predator. <laughs> what are they doing? I'm sorry. I did all I could to save the party. I could not do enough to try to save it. The problem was our general secretary let his male crush on one of the supposedly 17-year-old agents to take over his responsibility to the Women's Commission and to its female working-class members. So... This commie party was so fucked up. They were into such weird, degenerate shit. The, even the commie members of it were like, we, you know, we need to tone it down because communists in other countries are going to think we are fucking insane. And their answer was, just don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell them about our drug-fueled tranny orgies, and it'll be kosher. It's copacetic, bro. Everything's good. It's looking golden. The GS was incapable of seeing beyond what the trans agent was really doing, which was not only getting rid of women's commission and two strategic women, but also other strategic people. Uh, this is why identity politics are dangerous, and why it's dangerous to be naive that the U.S. government won't send agents even into a small party. GS still defends the trans agents and insists the only infiltrator is me, an original founder who is well known, uh, a well-known community activist. You can Google my name online. It behooves one to believe that I am uh, so destitute and with a history of party work would be an agent, whereas a large majority of our trans youth all seem to be full-time students with no jobs, living independently with high amounts of regular cash flows. The sexual predator, for example, spends over $1,200 on his marijuana and cigarette habit. Where is he getting these large sums of cash? Well, you know, let's 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 try to figure that out. So if that's monthly, which I'm guessing is what they're saying, it's like a hundred dollars a carton. You know, let's say he gets four cartons, well, th three cartons, uh, a month. Four, we'll we'll just say four. Fuck it. So he's spending four hundred dollars on cigarettes. That means they're spending eight hundred dollars on pot every month with communist party funds. <laughs> that's fantastic. fantastic. There's one thing I also forgot to mention, which was highly important, and the reason why this all came out into the open, making the party a laughingstock of the left. Even before I was expelled, the two transgender agents went on the official PC USA Facebook page and openly disparaged me. They declared their victory in purging biological women and ended their long tirade of slander and lies with long live trans liberation. They also... <laughs> 
That's a hell of a that's a that's a hell of a catchphrase. They also published with pride how the PC USA Constitution makes discrimination against trans, aka gender identity, against party rules, but discrimination against women acceptable. How could a GS and PB not reprimand or censor these two agents? Why did they not correct the error and re-include women, but insist that the uh, that was the Constitution agreed upon by its members? I never voted to remove women, and never voted to erase them from the Constitution or party. Was there some secret meeting dissenting members were not invited to? I did not publicly embar embarrass the party. The trans agents did repeatedly. In fact, in Uruhaha's YouTube, was not put out by me or anyone who has resigned. It was put out by a strident homo and transphobe who somehow mysteriously received party documents. How or why this person received party documents, I do not know. But I do know. People outside our party received party documents well before I ever came out publicly with what was happening. Well, that is quite the tale indeed. It seems that the Party Communist USA, or whatever the PC exactly stands for, Party of Comrades, Politically Correct Communists, I don't know. Lots of, lots of and drug-induced orgies. I also like how their, their hot take, I like Jessica's insight, that all these, uh, all these uppity 20-year-olds that are joining the party are a bunch of fucking middle-class suburbanite white kids in college, spending mommy and daddy's money as they LARP as communists. That's always delightful.